What's up guys, Forest Knight here, and this is the very first video of the web series where we go over how to design an application. Since I am currently designing an iOS application, and then I plan to implement that application and deploy it onto the App Store, I figured why not make a web series to kind of teach you guys the process that I'm going through and kind of what you need to do in order to have a well-designed application. And this is going to be the first video of this series where we go over ideas, and sketching it essentially and then next uh, video we're going to be going into working with Adobe XD and designing that followed by putting together the prototype and make sure all the screens are linked together. So if this at all sounds interesting to you be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the future episodes and let's get into it. So the iOS application that I'm currently designing has to do with freelancing and the market over there but let's focus on something else because I don't want to give away all my secrets of the app I'm designing. So let's do a recipe sharing social media platform. So that's our idea. What do we need within that? That's the next step. What we'll need is just like any other social media platform, which is a sign up screen, a login, a profile, ability to edit that profile. We need to, the ability to post recipes, the ability to save those recipes, to see those recipes on a feed. We need to, we want to be able to explore recipes. What if I'm looking for uh, chicken parmesan and there's no search bar? Well, good luck just scrolling through your feed until you find it. You need to explore. You need a notification screen. And that's what you want to do when you're thinking, when you already have your idea and you need to design your application. You need to know what screens you need. And as you go through drawing all these out, you're going to think, all right, I need that screen too, that screen too. So just get five to ten screens in your mind right now and just start drawing them out. And then once you go into actually designing it, actually drawing it out, you'll realize like what other screens you need and then you'll implement those as well. Now that we've done that, let's get into turning those ideas into paper. Let's draw them out. What you can do is have like a iPhone mockup that you printed out and it's the exact dimensions of an iPhone 7 or an Android or an iPhone 5 or SE or whatever it may be. Or what you can do is have a ruler where you're kind of measuring the dimensions of an iPhone and you kind of have a exact screen size that you just drew out. Or what most people do from what I've seen when you're just sketching, you just draw rectangles that are close in size to the screen that you want because all you're going to do is translate those over to your software. In this instance, it's going to be Adobe XD. It may be a sketch or something else, but at that time is when you're going to make it look all pretty. Right now, we're just trying to get a concept from our head onto paper, so let's do it. So what we have here is the first screen that you're going to see upon launching the application. It asks for your email, password, and sign in. That's because we don't know if you already have an account. But what you can do is come down here to new member in order to sign up, or you can register with Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Let's take for instance that you clicked on new member, you need to sign up with your email. What you have to put in is your full name, your email address, your password, confirm your password, and maybe your mobile number if we ever so wish, and then you want to continue. Depending on what the application is, maybe what, we'll, what the screen will be after that is editing your profile. You need to put in a profile picture. Let's say you need to add in a bio and anything else that we wish for them to add into their profile just as like a first starting point. However, I didn't draw that screen just yet because we're just going through a few screens in this video. What I plan on doing is just going over showing you guys a few of the screens. Let's just say, for example, of course, I showed you the sign in and sign up screen. And we're going to go through creating some of these screens in Adobe XD and turning those from design into prototype as well. But at the end of all of this, I'm going to put a link down in the description once it's ready, where all these screens will be packed together and for sale over on Dribbble for those who don't feel like designing the whole thing themselves and they want a template and where you can have a template, you can change your colors, you can change your 
shapes and you can change everything here and there instead of creating everything from scratch. So depending on how you evaluate your time to your money determines whether you want to build it all on your own or you just want to spend 10 or 20 bucks and then buy this thing. But something else we would probably want to do with the application is ask what kind of food that person likes, for example, and then make them follow 10 people to start off with and then it immediately goes to their feed after they choose that and they can see the most recent posts from those 10 people they are now following. Just to kind of get them not an empty feed or no people they're following just so they kind of get that jump start of that social media experience. And then you're gonna keep doing that. You're just gonna keep building screens, think about what you want that screen to display. Like for example, right now, I was just thinking, I just thought off the top of my head that we should make the people follow 10 people in order for them to start off with that social media experience and have that feed already filled with their recipes, just so they kind of get that jump start, you know? So what you wanna do is kind of go through that motion, say, okay, I wanna feed, all right, how, do I want to lay out how they post things? If it's a recipe, how are you gonna do that? You wanna post an image, you wanna post a title of the recipe, you wanna post a description of the recipe, then you wanna post all the ingredients and stuff. Do you want them to format all of the, that themselves or do you want a specific format where you kind of give them text boxes that you, know, you can upload an image here for the text boxes, you, know, you put your title here, you put your description here, Whatever it may be, I don't know, but that's what you kind of want to think about. And by the end of the series, I'm going to have to figure it out because I'm going to have to make sure all of the screens are implemented into that package, which in all honesty, that package would be something that you would be showing to your client or what you would be showing to your developer so they can approve and start developing. But that's it for now, just kind of like a short intro. And then next episode, we're gonna be getting into actually how to design something like this in Adobe XD. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, have a good one.